All right, so we're here in Inverness, uh, Florida. Boy, I tell you, I love this town. It's a great place. Uh, if you ever want to visit, uh, you know, we're, we're going to be hiking, uh, well, we're going to be riding the bike actually today. Um, I mean, I, if you follow my channel, you know that the uh, hiking's kind of out of the question. It's been too wet, too, uh, too difficult. I mean, you get down on those trails, the grass is too deep. I mean, you know, you got, you got snakes and spiders and bears and wild hogs. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't bother me because I'm crazy. You know I'm crazy. But uh, so we're gonna we're just gonna head north uh, 16 miles today. Uh, maybe we'll do uh, go 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 um, the other direction on the trail. We'll see what happens. Uh, but I just kind of wanted to, to start the video off. Uh, you know, it, by the way, watch watch my other video. Uh, we did a quick uh, bike maintenance video with uh, David Cycle World. It's awful nice of them to make that video for me. Um, but let's just take a look at the trail real quick. Let's spin, uh, spin, spin around here. So that's the that's the bike trail, and uh, he said it's only about 49. I thought it was 70 some miles, but he said it's only about 49 miles. So we're going six, 16 miles in this direction, and then if you whip around, the trail goes that way uh, for another uh, uh, 40 or so miles. You know. So, uh, you know, you can come down here and uh, just do some nice biking on this uh, paved trail. Um, it's a great place to be. Uh, you know, every day I wake up and I go, what am I going to do today? I guess, uh, you know, maybe I'll get out and make a video about David's Cycle World and, uh, and we'll get on the bike trail. You know, it's uh, life is good. Life is good until I can get on the road heading up to Virginia. So let's uh, let's spin around. All right. So uh Let's get going. It's going to be a great day. Uh, you know, it's it's getting a little bit uh, into the evening. You know, and that's when I like to come out. Things are nice and dry. Uh, um, you don't have that heat. I mean, the humidity's it's Florida. <laughs> you know? Florida man. You know, I mean, it's going to be it's going to be uh, uh, humid no matter what time of the day you come out. But I like the evenings. Um, so we're going to get a couple, three hours here in Inverness. And by the way, the dining around here is outstanding. A lot of the restaurants. So let's, let's get rolling. Well, as we get going here, it's uh, called the WITH, W-I-T-H-L-A-C-O-O-C-H-E-E. -E. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. State Trail. Okay. Uh, we're in Inverness. Uh, uh, beautiful town. Just love it here. Uh, check this out. <laughs> Isn't that cute with the turtles? And by the way, you freaking idiot, fochy, stupid son of a bitch, look over here at all them masks. All those kids got masks on. Woohoo! Thank God for DeSantis in Florida. Woohoo! So the first thing you're going to see heading north on uh, the bike trail, uh, you know, I always like to stop and uh, look at these signs. Uh, Wading gracefully on long legs through shallow waters or along the water's edge, these birds search for fish, frogs, insects, and other creatures. Each bird uses a slightly different feeding technique, sometimes using a long bill as a probe, sometimes as a spear, or even as scissors. Quick as a wink, it had a meal. So you can see the birds at the, the great blue heron. And, uh, you know, you can if you just wanted to just come out for a day and sit right here on the water, I mean, look at this view. Isn't that fantastic? I mean, it's just uh, incredible uh, what you get to see here in Florida. You know what it is to be free. Um, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna get another video here just shortly. There's a little gazebo right up the trail here, and there's a beautiful lake right over here. Can't wait to get it on the video. Let's uh, let's get going. So you see how you could just come here and sit in this gazebo and uh, look at it that beautiful lake boy it makes me long for the days of water skiing and my boat love to be out there um, but anyway let's just uh, read the sign here real quick just wanted to show you that uh, beneath the water surface you'll find a wonderful diversity of life from tiny organisms protozoa to crustacean to a variety of fish frogs snakes turtles snails and insects freshwater plants provide important food cover nesting sites for many species including birds and small mammals take in the view from the water's edge so anyway that's the uh that's it for this video but uh, it's a uh, it's, uh, it's just beautiful here i love it i love Inverness. 
Well, we didn't make it far, <laughs> but I had to get this on the video. Look at that. Isn't that just gorgeous? So it's kind of on a little bridge right here that goes uh, over. I mean, look at this. Isn't this cool? You know, you just kind of kind of look at the water. Let's just walk on over here. Get the lily pads in here. The only reason I'm taking all this video here at the beginning is because this is the most beautiful part that I've seen. Uh, as, I, as I go, I've only walked it. I haven't rode the bike, so I don't know what we're going to encounter further up the trail. But, uh, you know, we've, we've just come just a little ways, but uh, there's just so much to see here at the beginning. And uh, we're working on it. Let's get going. You know, there's so much to see on the Inverness bike trail. This little corridor right here it kind of feels like you're in a little cave, kind of traveling along the bike path. And, you know, you're coming coming from that direction there. Uh, there's a beautiful place back here. I mean, I could just, I could make this video an hour long and, uh, and never cover you know, a quarter of what I see. But uh, anyway, let's just keep, uh, keep going. I'll try to keep taking small clips along the way here. Well, we've been about another three or four miles. Just kind of want to show you. It's really an outstanding bike ride. Holy moly. I, you know, I haven't gone. This, I mean, I've hiked it. And we're going to get past where I've hiked here shortly. Um, so I've, I've seen this before. Uh, but I didn't make a video. You know, and back then I wasn't making videos, you know. But let's just swing around and just show you what it, what it looks like. Look at all them people. Woohoo! All that COVID's gonna blow in off of them leaves on the trees. You gotta worry about that stuff, people. You gotta worry about that. Holy moly! Oh, you might get you might get stung by a wasp or <laughs> maybe a butterfly will land on your head. You never know. You never know. So I feel like Florida man here. <laughs> there was a business back there that was called Wrench Monkeys. <laughs> I was just, I'm sorry, I just cracked me up. I was like, where in the world did you find a business named Wrench Monkeys? But uh, I just wanted to kind of show you what the trail's doing. We're just kind of paralleling a road now, so it's not like you're back under that canopy. And uh, so we're, you know, when you look back, we're kind of crossing road after road. Uh, um, so, of course, you know, pay attention to the traffic and... Uh, Still not seeing anybody. <laughs> out here all by myself, like I uh, like I always am. Um, but here it's uh, just to give you the road. It's, that's Florida Avenue, right over here. Uh, I, I had the the town name. My gosh dang it, I can't remember what it was. Um, but I just kind of want to stop every couple of miles and just show you what the trail's looking like. Um, I mean, it's a great place to bike for sure. I mean, you know, I I don't like being this close to to the road, you know, with civilization. But uh, well, let's just keep on going. I tell you what, it's a it's a beautiful day. I'm I got my heart rate up. I'm sweating. Life is good. Life is good. You can see this. <laughs> I think I got caught by a tornado. <laughs> it, it was crazy. I mean, a uh, holy moly, something big's blowing in, and luckily they got these little shelters along the way which is what I talk about on these Florida trails uh, all the time so I'm gonna hold up here try to wait things out uh, I mean you can kind of look up we got a thunder boomer blowing over yeah I didn't bring the samurai umbrellas today and uh, well you can see the rain coming down now so we are just we'll just hold up here for a while boy I tell you cutting I hope it doesn't cut short my bike ride and hopefully this will be over quick but look Look at all the debris coming down. I'm going to tell you what, I, I, could, I couldn't even see <laughs> where I was going. The stuff was hitting me in the face so hard because of the wind blowing. Holy moly. I tell you, in Florida, it's like, listen to that. Listen to that. Oh, my goodness gracious. I tell you what, I thank God for this little shelter here. Of course, the bike's getting wet, but what, do you, what am I supposed to do? I'll try to get it under the shelter as best I can. Uh, we'll just let this uh, go on by. Hey, while, while we're hanging out here, <laughs> it, just, it just hit me. I, I, you know, I, I hate making so many clips because it's going to take me forever to put all these together. But uh, if you look, I think it's called Tin, T-I-N dot com. And it's an advertisement on YouTube and it's called Florida Man. And <laughs> you know, I, I don't usually watch advertisements per se, but it was just, it's just freaking hilarious. I mean, I, I tell you, and I feel like that idiot, you know. It's, it's, it's the nature of Florida, you know, when you live in paradise, 
occasionally uh, it, it just sneaks up on you. Look at that rain. Holy moly. This is one major storm coming through. All right, well, hopefully we'll get back on the road. I'm just going to sit here on this picnic table for a while. Look, thank God I got this shelter. It just, just happened to, to come up for me. Talk about luck. I'm the luckiest son of a bitch on the world. In the world, baby. So we just came down that. There's a couple of restaurants I'm going to check out here. Uh, the uh, storm blew through, obviously, but uh, I just wanted to show you what the, the trail has done. Just kind of busted out into a road here at uh, 2450 Florida Avenue. Uh, you can see we got a park across the way. <laughs> look, look at the people hold up by the bathroom over here. I tell you what, that was a, that was an aggressive storm. So it looks like the trail just kind of goes along this road. I got to get my exercise, so I'll go down there a ways. But this isn't my uh, my style of um, hiking and riding. You know, I just kind of going by the road. Uh, so. But I mean, it's it's cool. I mean, I'm glad they got a bike trail here, and this is the way I, you know, I people that want to ride their bikes out on the road, uh, they're crazy, man. I, I, too many old people here in Florida. <laughs> you, you're gonna get run over, man. So uh, luckily, you know, at least you have a bike trail to ride on. So let's let's go a ways down, and then we'll turn around and head on back. Uh, you can tell I probably gonna get wet again. Like you can you can kind of see the the clouds are moving in. All right, let's get going. So back there, it wasn't real intuitive to get across that main road, but it, the trail is continuing on. I mean, you can see it's going this way, but somebody recommended the burger station. Well, the bike shop did. So uh, I guess you heard, just heard the thunder. <laughs> Luckily, I haven't seen any lightning bolts try to strike me dead. I'm gonna go in here and get a burger. What the hell? Might as well. I bet uh, they said they, they, these are the best burgers in town. Let's give it a try. So I'm fat and happy now after eating at the burger station. Man, that was a lot more food than I wanted. And you know, you can't really get it to go <laughs> when you're riding a dog on bicycle. But uh, anyway, you know, if you're gonna come down the, the bike trail, this would be a nice place to stop. Uh, burger was pretty good. Uh, unfortunately, they made you get fries with it. Man, a lot of... A lot of, lot of uh, emergency vehicles, uh, but look at here. We're actually, I found out where we, where I am. It, I'm, we're in, I'm in Hernando, Hernando, Florida. Oh, well, there it is, Lake Hernando. <laughs> All you gotta do is look across the street and see exactly where you are. So, okay, so we'll pick up uh, here on another trip and uh, and continue down the trail. They're telling me it goes on for, I think the guy was wrong, but they said it mainly just kind of goes through the town. That uh, we've done the pretty section of the bike trail. Um, by the way, good to be free here in Florida. See, look at all that mask, you fachi idiot. Everybody's got a mask on here. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Not. So I'm just down from the burger station, and uh, somebody back there told me that the the rest of the trail wouldn't be that that pretty but I mean this is to me is the prettiest section I've done so far I mean it, you really got the feel that you're back here I mean look at that isn't that awesome let's tell, let's just get where I came from I mean look back there so I uh, the, the problem is I'm going downhill <laughs> I've been going uphill which is nice because going back you want to go downhill for sure but uh, so now I'm going downhill and uh, I'm gonna have to come back uphill. I don't know how much further I'll get today. I'm getting pretty tired, especially now that I got a, a burger and fries sitting in my, my gullet. But uh, but I just wanted to show you this. I mean, it's a beautiful section of the trail here. I mean, my goodness, I I didn't expect this. Uh, I, I, you know, you just, it's like every hike or every day that I get out, you just want to keep going and going and going and you don't want to turn around and go back, you know? But uh, that's okay. We'll, we'll just get down here maybe another mile and then I, I got to head on back. I, it's almost six o'clock here and uh, you know, you don't want to be out here in the dark. Well, I guess we're done for the day. So I was waiting for to get something on the video that was interesting. This would be pretty cool if you just wanted to come back and just hike around for a little bit. I mean, the bike trail is just right here and you can see the, the road is just over there, but it's time for me to uh, 
time for me to turn back. That's always the depressing part of the day. Uh, of course, it's always nice to see that car <laughs> and sit down and get a get a cold glass of water. But you can kind of see the uh, the bike trail. I mean, up here, this is a past just past Hernando, Florida, and uh, it's it's continuing on this way, boy. And be fun to come back. I have to set the GPS to try to find Hernando, Florida. Oh, I guess I'll look it up on the internet and find it. You know, you gotta have to find a place to park the car somehow. Get back on the trail right here and uh, knock it out going that direction. Boy, I tell you, I love love being out here just doing these adventures and being stupid. It's uh, life is good. But look at this look this crazy road. I I wonder somebody maybe lives back there or something. I don't know. You could see the tire treads going this way. Hmm. All right, that's it, man. You guys, peace out and stay free. Always got to get something on the way back. Guy's got a Sims Auto Sales. <laughs> He's got a pink elephant with glasses on. Uh, Florida man, Florida man, Florida man. <laughs> I just, I just was looking at it and I was going, you know what? I got to get that on the video. And we're gonna get one more clip. I'm gonna show you money, people. There's a house up here that I mean, when you wait till you see it. Wait till you see it. I, let's, I'm just baiting the hook. I'm, I'm baiting the hook. I get that on the video real quick. That's the name of the trail again. But I told you I would get this on the way back. There's money in this world, and then there's stupid money. <laughs> I thought I thought that was a business of some sort. I mean, because it goes all the way down here, and they got a dock that goes out, and that's a private residence. I can't imagine. That's just incredible, isn't it? All right, let's keep going. Thought I'd give you one more look. From the other side of this place look at it look at this dock it goes all the way out i mean you could you could park a tanker on that thing. <laughs> but uh you know i pulled off uh, just to get this sign here i always like to read these and uh we'll get this on the uh the video so you can read it but uh let's just we'll get this one you are standing along the historic route of the conquistador and Hernando de Soto and his expedition through the Florida Native American territories is in its quest for gold and glory. You know, that's kind of funny because uh, I remember we were doing other videos where they got basically the same sign. I, I, he must have traveled all over Florida. But let's, uh, I'm just, I'm not going to read this to you. I'll just get it up close and you can pause the video right there, read that. Uh, Florida Indian Hunter. And then you got the native path here. You can read that. Pause it right there. And then uh, this, I will read this one. The swamp of Ocal was the great current and broad, broad, and they crossed it with great difficulty. It must be difficulty. And where there was no bridge, they crossed with water at their chests, at the chin, with their clothes and saddles on their heads, a distance of three crossbow shots. The DeSoto Chronicles. And then you've got this section here, the Con Con Conquistador Trail. So I'm going to sit here for a minute and read this, and uh, hopefully you guys are pausing it and you can look at it yourself. Well, I'm done for today. Four hours in the saddle to bring you this video. I'm just, not, I'm fat and old and out of shape. <laughs> But it was fun. It was a fun day, you know. I hope you enjoyed the video. I just thought I'd finish it off with the just to show you what I'm looking at before I get to the car. Whew. Whew. Yeah, when you're beat up, fat and happy. No better way to finish off the day. Isn't that amazing? finally saw a couple people uh, on the way back. Boy, I tell you, I hardly saw anybody the whole day. Of course, we did have that big storm blow through. That was something else. That was a Florida man video for, for sure right there. All right, that's it, man. I uh, This will be the end of this video, I promise. Unless we see something, some sort of wildlife on the way, the rest of the way to the car. But I haven't got much further to go. So, uh, peace out and stay free. I thought I'd tack one last thing onto the video. As you can see, the bike fits 
in the back of the Prius Prime, and this is going to give us tremendous range. You know, I burnt zero gas <laughs> coming down here, <laughs> so it didn't cost anything to get. I mean, I'm, we're good, good long ways, so now we can really venture out and strike out and hit a lot of trails. Uh, and I'll have the bike along. Um, just a wonderful vehicle. Uh, hey, the other thing I, I forgot to mention was the ice maker in my uh, fridge broke, and uh, I paid a guy $75. He came over, he looked at it, and said, oh, "I got to order the parts," and then he left. Didn't fix the doggone thing, and then, you know, when he got the parts, I said, well, bring them on over here. I'll pay you for the parts. I said, but right now it's working again. So it's back on the fritz, and I was uh, I was going to buy ice trays. I figured, screw it, you know, and because who knows, probably $800 to fix that damn ice maker in a 2016 fridge. That's the quality of the things that we get these days. But you know what? I went up at Amazon, and you can buy an ice maker, a really good one, and I'll have to give you, I'll do a review on it when I get it. Uh, it was just 200 bucks. Uh, I mean, that sounds like a lot of money, but I mean, think about it here in Florida. You got to have ice, man. I mean, you know, it's uh, it's just mandatory. And and that ice maker, it says it can make like 48 pounds of ice, and and you know, no fridge is going to do that. So why why fix your ice maker in your fridge, people? Just a little tip of advice. Peace out. Stay free. So I'm on the way home. I just had to get this on the video. Look at that. That's a sunset. That's the prettiest sunset I've seen in a long time. This is what you see here in Florida, you know. Look at it going down. Just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Okay.